Hello everyone, welcome to Quick Code Academy. Today in this video, I will show you how we can customize the Angular Material checkbox. So to add Angular Material checkbox into your project, so first the Angular Material should be installed on your machine. I am assuming that it is already installed, so that's why you are here. So now you can go to material.angular.io site and make sure that if you are using Angular 17, the 17 is selected. So now I will click on components and from here I will look for my component that is uh, checkbox and then uh, from here I will just copy this uh, particular checkbox. So I will click on code snippet and first before using it we need to import it right. So I can copy, I can copy this import statement and I will go back to my code and here I will paste it like this and in angular 17 as you know uh, the standalone components are by default true so that is why you can directly import uh, this module into your component so here I am copy pasting this so I am good to use the angular material checkbox now so I will go to html and I will just copy paste one of the checkbox from here and I will go to my HTML file here I will paste it and let's just verify if it's get it's appearing on my screen or not so here you can see it's getting appeared okay so now in order to apply the custom styling to this checkbox what you need to do is you need to analyze which class uh, to be overridden by the new CSS so what you can do you can click right click and you can open your inspect element after opening inspect element in this elements tab you need to figure out which class uh, we need to provide the CSS so here we have this option to select so I will click on the select and then one by one I will try to uh, select the region on my browser okay so here what I want is I want to change the color after checking so when I am making ticking it so it's getting appeared in pink so I want to change this style so I will look for which class I need to override so here I am hovering it's on the browser it's getting highlighted so when I am hovering over this matte checkbox background you see the area which I want it's getting highlighted so I will select that and on the right hand side section I am able to see the CSS for that okay so here I will try to tweak these properties so I will make it red okay so it's getting changed so here also I will make it red and it's getting changed right so what I will do now so I will copy all these classes and I will put it on my global level CSS which is styles.scss so here I will paste it and what I will do I will copy paste the same thing so after copy pasting this you will notice one thing so that I will show you so same I am pasting over here so in spite of adding this so let me refresh this see it's still pink why because it's not getting applied so in order to forcefully override this what I will do I will add important so I am adding important now I should be able to see my style has been changed so let me click on this so now you can see the style is getting changed okay so but I want some different color because I cannot clearly see the difference so I have just uh, copied one color so I will try to give it to this border and background so let's just see now my uh, button should be in green color so here you can see now it looks beautiful isn't it so now uh, I can see one more thing I am getting this unnecessary ripple effect so how to avoid this so for that also we need to uh, analyze which area we need to focus on so here when I am hovering over it I, I am assuming that this class is responsible for this so let me also uh, try putting some 
display none property over here so that this will be removed from our DOM so now I am not getting that ripple effect so I will click on this I will copy paste both the, both of these classes and I will just go to my style.scss again and I will paste it like this and here I will make display none let's just see what happens so I should not be getting that ripple effect now but I will just check now I will refresh so see I'm not getting that ripple effect so my idea was to show you how we can customize different elements of angular material components so in this way you can stylize your checkbox as per your need so thank you for watching my video i hope you like it make sure to subscribe to my channel thank you